Hi, I'm Judy Swigert, the Superintendent of Schools here at Greater Latrobe, and this is my second um, update uh, for the community. Um, I'd like to talk this month about uh, our core curriculum and the standards uh, that we are aligning our curriculum um, as we move forward with the 2012-13 school year. Um, some of you may be aware that um, Pennsylvania has had state standards for quite a few years, and you've all probably heard of our PSSA tests and how those tests are related to the state standards and they really do generate a lot of information for us including AYP annual yearly progress. Uh, last spring, about a year ago, um, Pennsylvania adopted the national standards, the core standards and so Greater Latrobe is moving forward with adopting and um, aligning our present curriculum to the core standards that Pennsylvania adopted. Um, that really moves us forward with our goal of a 21st century curriculum and that is a lot of work presented to all of our teachers as we move forward aligning those standards. But moving forward you need to understand that the PSSAs and how important they have been in our um, progress as we move forward over the last few years will continue but look a little bit different. First off, the 11th grade PSSA tests have, um, are no longer going to be given. Uh, we are now moving forward with the Keystone exams, which you may have heard that term. Um, right now, the state is moving forward with providing Keystone exams, which are single tests that are given at the end of a course requirement. And right now, there are three Keystone exams, and these would be taken by the time students graduate, and they include Algebra 1, Literature, and Biology. So what that means is when a student takes algebra, let's say they take it in ninth grade or 10th grade or 11th grade, um, at the end of the course they take the test and it is uh, at this point going to be a requirement that they pass this test or else there needs to be some other avenues in which they can um, show proficiency. So that is actually how our AYP scores for our junior years will be, junior year students will be calculated but they technically could be achieved maybe in the ninth or 10th grade year. So right now there's three tests, biology, algebra, and literature, um, which is the English component that they are going to be required to take. So that's how the high school PSSA tests are changing. But in addition to that, uh, next year our third, fourth, and fifth graders are going to be taking two tests. Uh, they are going to be taking the traditional PSSA tests that all students have taken over the last years and of course AYP will be generated from that. But in addition next year, our third, fourth, and fifth grade students are going to be taking the new pilot PSSA that is aligned to these core Pennsylvania standards that were adopted last spring. So as you can see, next year's test, this pilot, is going to give us a strong um, uh, understanding of where we stand with these core standards. So aligning our curriculum K through 12 um, with these core standards is integral to us finding success on these PSSA tests. You can ask whether we support, believe this is important, and I would tell you we absolutely do. Um, understanding that our students and the preparation that we're giving them is truly for them to be competitive in a 21st century global economy. Um, as we all talk about, when we um, uh, sit in our homes in the city of Latrobe or wherever you live, obviously we hope that our students will maybe uh, come back to our area to work and to succeed, um, but we also know that even in the city of Latrobe or in uh, the school district, our students need to be competitive across the country and across the world because you can be sitting here knowing that you're impacting people all over the country and all over the world. So aligning our curriculum to 21st century uh, goals and um, instructional practices is critical to our continued success. So as we move through this academic year, as much as um, there is so much emphasis on our budget and things of that nature, we need to keep focused that our goal is to obviously prepare our students for whatever they might choose to do as they leave, with, leave us. Um, one last note, and that is last night uh, the school board did approve our 2012-2013 excuse me, um, operating budget. It did include a 1.5 mil increase 
which for the city or for the school district of Greater Latrobe, that equals $499,500. Um, one of the significant impacts to our budget this year was the increased PEASERS contribution, which you all probably hear of as retirement contributions. Um, it has gone up about 8.6% this year and will continue to go up over the next few years, as you are all very well aware. That increase alone was over $400,000 impact to the district this year. So hence the 1.5 um, that everybody has seen and that of generating additional income for us or additional revenue has really basically provided that coverage for our PEASERS increase. Um, as we move forward, we know that's going to continue and I think our board, our school board, has made that clear to the public. So um, understand that we are very conscious and understanding of how millage impact or increases impact our community. Um, but please also understand that we are very conscious of increasing revenues and trying to decrease our expenses wherever possible. Um, and as always, if you ever have any questions or you read something that doesn't make sense or you can't figure it out, please feel free to call our offices and whoever can answer your questions will certainly get back to you if they're not available at that time. So thank you very much. Um, hopefully we get to hear from you.